Hey everyone, my name is Friedrich, I'm part of Exit Strategy and I'm here to show you some gameplay from Pirates of New Horizons. So what exactly is it that you do in the game? First of all, you will probably spend a lot of time exploring the levels and we absolutely encourage this. Freedom of movement is an important part of the game. That's why Anna has so many useful gadgets that let you swing, grind and even fly through the levels. We try to reward exploration as much as possible, so if you decide to get off the path and look around, you will always find an item, new characters or at least precious stones. Another reason for you to explore is to find the lighthouses in your home port and activate them. All of them require you to solve a small puzzle. The lighthouses guide your ship to other islands in your horizons, which brings us to the second item on the list. Naturally, for a game about pirates, looting islands and finding treasures is a central aspect. You will visit all kinds of crazy and dangerous places like alien temples and high-tech structures guarded by robots. So you will need to put your platforming skills and gadgets to best use to steal the gold and still make it out alive. Always by your side, Professor Hensworth is a sidekick that you can call into action to repair machinery or to reach distant places. But before you can enter the treasure vault and loot the place, you need to get past those who protect it. And that means you will have to fight. How? You can use this pirate saber for one, or first temporarily stun your enemies by performing a powerful drone storm from air. You can also kick to stun them. The kick has a charge function, that means the longer you charge it, the longer the enemy is stunned. You can block attacks, but so can the aliens. However, if you time your block just right, you can perform a powerful counter attack. When push comes to shove, you can also let Hansworth pounce enemies to stun them. So when the belly of your ship finally looks something like this, it's probably time to fly back to Abingdon, your home port. You can now spend your gold in upgrades before you activate another lighthouse and set sails again. We've got plans to allow you to buy combat moves and customize your combos too, but this isn't implemented yet. More gadgets and enemy types are in the works. In the meantime, you can try a browser version of the game yourself at piratesofnewrises.com and play two levels of the game right now. If you pre-order, you also get instant access to the first dungeon of the game and receive many other pre-order perks. We are four guys who love 3D jump runs and action adventures, so if you pre-order, you directly support us to create this game for PC, Mac and consoles. We are always listening to feedback, so go ahead and leave your questions and input in the comments. I hope this video was helpful to understand what the game is about. Thanks for watching.